What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today talking about home screens, particularly one question I get a lot when I'm making my customization videos for the S22 Ultra is how do you make a beautiful home screen that looks like this? So today I'm gonna to give you guys my five point plan for creating a beautiful home screen that works for you and talk about some of the packs that I use in terms of widgets, icon packs, things like that. And this is completely without using a third party launcher just using One UI Launcher and good luck with Theme Park. So before we do get into that, I wanna remind you guys, we do have our giveaway that's going on for the month of April. If you guys wanna join, we're giving away a flagship device, which means you could win a S22 Ultra, also a Poco M4 Pro phone and some other prizes as well for daily competition entries. I'll drop the link below. So today, five things I wanna talk about for making your home screen pop like this and uh, let me actually, as usual, put my Google Keep right here into pop-up view. The first thing is finding a great wallpaper. And I'll show you guys where I find some great wallpapers because a lot of people have asked about this particular wallpaper. This wallpaper is from a YouTuber named Canoopsy. Some of you probably know him. He creates beautiful wallpaper packs and they are paid packs. Uh, I really like supporting people who are creating great things, especially when it comes to wallpapers that I enjoy. And there's the pack that I'm using right now, which is called Starfire. So this is the one that I have on the S22 Ultra right now. You guys can see I'm using that one right there. I also get wallpapers from a uh, number of other designers, which I'll drop some links below. The other app that I typically use a lot for wallpapers is either Backdropped, where they have a lot of great wallpapers. Usually if you want a really, really great wallpaper that's gonna be unique, sometimes you do have to pay for for those wallpapers, that's just a fact, but there are some good free ones in Wally -E Pop as well, and also Wally -E 4K. So these are some apps that I use to get great wallpapers. Um, but like I said, to get truly unique ones, I end up buying packs from artists that I know, like Canoopsy. The next thing is to change your grid size to something that works for you. Now for me, if you go to long press on your home screen and go to settings, you'll see your home screen grid up here at the top, and you can change your grid size here at the bottom, the one I'm using is a five by five grid. I just find that works the best for me. Five across, five up, so five rows, five columns. You can go up to five by six, makes the icons a little smaller. I find it looks a little bit cluttered, but really at the end of the day, it's all about having something that's functional and also looks good for you. This is a very simple thing you can do just directly from the home screen settings. It can also make your setup look a lot cleaner. One of my tips, which is something you don't have to do, but you can do, is just to have one row of icons at the bottom or also maybe along the side. You can also cluster them in the middle like a little square, something that just makes it look kind of minimal. And then of course you can organize folders and things like that in your app drawer uh, as you want you know, to use other apps. But I put my most used apps down here and then I keep everything else in the app drawer organized that way. The next thing is to get a custom icon pack. Now I made a video about how to apply custom icon packs using Samsung's Goodlock app and Theme Park, which I have right there. Uh, you do not need a third-party launcher like Nova Launcher or anything like that to apply an icon pack. You can go to Theme Park right here where it says icons and apply an icon pack there. Now you guys can see the icons that I have here. My personal favorite icon pack right now is Vera Icon Pack from One Four Studio. It's actually called Vera Shapeless Icon Pack. It is $2.49. It's a very, very beautiful icon pack. People always ask about the one that I have and this is the one I've been using for the last month or so. They also have a lot of really other great ones like the Vera Outline icons. And in fact, once you find an icon pack that you like, if you scroll down to the bottom and you actually find the developer, then you can very easily go to where it says more by the developer. I love One Four Studio personally. They have some great icon packs. And then you can just find all their different customization. They've even got some KWGT and uh, KLWP widgets as well, which I might talk about in another video. But this is how I typically find icon packs. I'm gonna drop my favorite five icon packs below, uh, not just Vera, but four other ones that I really like. They won't all be from One Four Studio, but a lot of them are. You guys can check them out in the description if you're interested. The next thing is to add a functional and stylish, uh, stylish, functional and stylish widget pack um, to your home screen. Now I talked about in a previous video, smart widgets, which actually have this stackable setup where you can swipe through them from Samsung but you'll probably wanna get a premium widget pack from something like KWGT, which I've made a couple videos talking about, and I could make an advanced video on KWGT, I just don't know how many people will be interested. So if you'd be interested in that, drop the link below 
uh, in the comments and let me know. But if you search for KWGT in the Play Store, it's right here, Custom Widget Maker. There's a pro key that allows you to actually get all the really good features. And it lets you get beautiful widgets that look like this one. Now this particular widget comes from a KWGT pack and the packs are pre-made widgets that you can add to the KWGT theming engine. This one is called Andro 12. So it's right here, Andro 12 KWGT, which is also another couple dollars. They do cost a couple bucks, but if you really want a home screen that looks beautiful like this, and you don't wanna spend a bunch of your own time invested in making KWGT widgets, which you can because you can make them manually, just take some effort and time, Purchasing a pack that looks really nice like Andro 12 for a couple bucks is a really good way to go. I also have a couple other beautiful widget widgets, which are the weather widget and my Spotify widget at the bottom. All three of them are from KWGT Pro and Android 12. The last thing is to hide the unnecessary icons in the status bar. Now, one thing that you can do is if you have good luck, you can actually add, you can get rid of a lot of these different status icons that you might not want. So if you go into the Goodlock app and then you can actually go into Quickstar where you can actually change the indicator icons up here. So you see all these different icons like the battery icon, you can turn the battery percentage off in the stock settings of course as well, like if you have a battery widget like I do. But you can turn off like NFC, Bluetooth, location, any of these things like when I have a VPN on, I usually don't like the VPN icon because I already know I have a VPN turn that off, you know, turn off your alarm icon if you don't really care about knowing about that, mobile data signal. This allows you to clean up your top right corner over here um, and just makes things look a little bit nicer and cleaner on the home screen. You can also play around with the clock settings as well. You can change the clock to the left. You can hide the clock entirely, which I've done as well because I have, of course, the clock widget on the home screen. So all of these things are things you can do. You can also style your quick panel as well. This just cleans up your home screen. If you have a nice widget like this, you have less information showing. And again, as I said, if you wanna get rid of the battery percentage, you can of course just go into settings. And then what I usually do is I just search for it. It's in notifications, show battery percentage. You can get rid of the show battery percentage. And now you've got your battery percentage in your widget. It's not up there. Everything looks nice and clean. You can get rid of those other icons if you really want to. You have a completely clean home screen. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are my five tips for making a super clean home screen on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you guys want to check out those icon packs, uh, my widgets, wallpapers, links will be below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Check out the giveaway uh, on Twitter and also in the links in the description and in the pinned comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.